Consumers in Indiana have filed a class action lawsuit against LG earlier this year, alleging defects in their refrigerator, specifically their linear compressors. But is there truth to their claims? In this video, we'll share our service percentages for over 9,000 LG refrigerators sold over the past six years. How many compressors do you think we replaced during that time? And how does LG's refrigerator reliability compare against GE, KitchenAid, Samsung, and Bosch? At the end of the video, you'll know definitively whether an LG refrigerator is in fact a defect waiting to happen. I'm not paid by anyone to do these videos or blogs. I do not accept affiliate linking of any kind. And that's a stark contrast to most other bloggers and YouTube influencers. I'll be brief on this. Linear compressors are new, at least in this industry, because we're regularly using a hundred year old technology. They were invented in the 1990s versus the more standard rotary compressors invented in 1905 to 1915. The simple motion of the linear compressor was to create a more energy efficient, quiet refrigerator. Then in 2020, LG settled a lawsuit on the linear compressors from refrigerators manufactured in 2014 to 2017. The newer class action suit in Indiana is for newer refrigerators. So let's look at the numbers. In six years, we've sold 9,204 LG refrigerators and replaced 99 compressors for various reasons. So about 1.1 of LG compressors sold at Yale needed replacement. The actual number of compressors that truly need a replacement is probably lower. We have refrigerator technicians on the road who typically replace the compressor in a refrigerator not cooling situation, along with other parts to ensure the refrigerator is working. Many parts can cause the refrigerator not to cool, including the electronic boards, the condensers, as well as the compressor. By replacing most or all, the customer ends up with a working refrigerator. Here's a breakdown of compressor replacement rates from 2018 to 2024. Bosch was the best at 0.6% nine compressor service out of 1,615 refrigerator service calls. Then LG at 1.1 with 99 compressor service out of 9,204 refrigerators sold. Followed by Samsung at 1.9%, 15 compressor service out of 793 total refrigerator sales. Next is G at 2.7%, 20 compressors out of 751 refrigerator service calls. And lastly was KitchenAid at 5.4% with 49 compressor service out of 912 total refrigerator sales. So should you buy an LG refrigerator or choose another brand? 1% is far lower than the average first year repair rate of 9% total for appliances overall. The compressor is not defective at that rate. If you want to stay away from LG, I totally understand, but your options aren't much better. And in fact, most are far worse for overall repair. LG's real problem is unique. It's the same issue facing every appliance brand. There simply isn't enough qualified technicians to repair appliances, specifically refrigerator specials. To protect yourself, look at what brands and stores offer better service in your area. You want to learn about the most reliable brands for 2025? Click this video and thanks for watching.